up my morning run and I wanted to take you in to show you where we train so follow me welcome to the pancake Welcome to our home gym. Uh, this is where we put a lot of time and effort, thought a lot about what we wanted to put into our gym. My wife is an IFBB pro athlete. I'm an aspiring triathlete. So our wants and needs for what we kind of wanted out of a gym are a little bit different, but we also wanted a very like cohesive home gym. So um, I'll link all the blogs and everything below, but I want to just kind of go through and show you everything that we have in the gym firsthand. So we divided the gym into two spaces, cardio and strength side, this being the cardio side. Um, when everybody walks in the gym, the first thing they see is a wood accent wall with two TVs. Uh, it looks dope, it looks really cool, but it really serves a lot of purpose. We wanted to be able to monitor Nest Cams and watch things at the same time, run trainer apps, and so be able to watch different you know, entertainment stuff. So it really works good to have two TVs out here for that. Um, going down the line of our kind of cardio recovery side is our ice bath. Uh, this is just a black deep freezer picked up from Sears, fill it up with water, um, have uh, a timer to regulate the temperature, but it's great for recovery. I have a whole blog about it, link below. Uh, if you want to know how to make a do-it-yourself ice bath, it's amazing. This is my Scott Flo, uh 30 road bike that I have hooked up to a Wahoo Kicker. Uh, Wahoo Kicker is just a uh, virtual kind of trainer that uh, you can hook up to, run Bluetooth up, run apps like Zwift, Trainer Road, stuff like that. Spent a lot of time on this getting ready for Ironman. Um, this is our treadmill, uh, my wife's favorite because it is a 40 incline treadmill that's like vertical, it's absolutely insane, um, but it's, it's a great piece of equipment that we spent a long time uh, kind of deciding what we really wanted in terms of a treadmill. Uh, it's, we got it more for incline and less for running, uh, even though it's great for both. Um, this is a Stairmaster that we got, and this is one of those things that I talk about in the blog of, of really waiting to... Um, Search the internet and find what really what like works for you because this is an expensive piece of equipment. And we were lucky enough to, to come across one that was uh, much more affordable um, through gym liquidations, and that's kind of like one of the key things to, to all of this is finding gyms, uh, local little boutique uh, fitness centers that are going out of business, liquidating all their their gear, and you can kind of go in there and just make offers uh, and, and get really great pieces of commercial grade equipment uh, for your home use at home prices. So this is the Stairmaster. It's uh, my wife's number one go-to for cardio. I think it's like the stairway to hell. It's absolutely horrible, um, but teach their own. Uh, up here, we got a little motivational quote, without pain, without sacrifice, we would have nothing. Uh, that's a little homage to, to Fight Club. Shout out to my boy, Brad Pitt. People say we look alike. Um, over here in the corner though, we have the kids area, which I love. This is their little uh, gymnastics area. Uh, Carter comes out here, does all her stumbling and hanging from her bars, and then we can pull up the balance beam and kind of work on that. Uh, my wife was a gymnast when she was a little girl, so it's really nice to see them bond over that. Um, as we're talking about mats and flooring, throughout the whole space, uh, we used uh, a very durable, very hard black rubbers, three quarter inches, and these are actually horse stall mats. Uh, Pick them up at a local feed and tax store. Uh, they work wonderful, perfect dimensions uh, for the size of the gym, uh, size of the garage uh, floor. So it worked out really well for us. Um, and then more to, uh, to, you know, to use as footwork areas, we want to do sleds, we have the battle ropes out right now, but we also put in a uh, sports turf to really divide the space as well and kind of an aesthetic look to it. So I really like the way that all the flooring came out. Um, <coughs> does wonders. Uh, these horse stall mats is something I learned a long time ago in the fitness industry that you can use for deadlift platforms, Olympic lifting platforms. They really can take a beating in terms of, of dropping weights on them over and over and over. Along this back wall, we do still have a garage. So wanted to make sure that it still looks clean and professional, uh, and kind of matched with everything else. So these are just plastic uh, garage cabinets from Lowe's. Um, nothing too fancy. They're, they're, uh, they do the job. Um, 
Uh, these are metal racks we also got from Lowe's. Um, if you're a veteran, always go to Lowe's at 10% off on everything. Uh, but <laughs> this was great because you could buy it by the piece. And I didn't want to waste a lot of money knowing that I only wanted to kind of do this roof storage and up over the door so we could maximize space. But I was able to buy, uh, save a lot of money buying things by just the individual pieces that I needed to, to build it out. Uh, put up a snazzy tool rack and a light bar to make thing, everything look pretty professional and cool. Uh, this light bar is pretty dope. It actually is a Bluetooth uh, speaker, so we can hook it up to the iPhones and just really pump music through the whole gym. And it works really well. Uh, moving over to the strength side of things, and this is obviously where most of our money is at and, and most of the bang for the buck that we've got. Uh, closeout gyms, like I said, is where it's at. This is a Pro Maxima custom rack uh, that we picked up from a gym going out of business, and <clears throat> it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it is uh, eight and a half foot, I think by like 15 or 16 feet. Uh, it has three different lifting stations in terms of J-hooks, uh, safety attachments that can be hooked up. Uh, so you could basically have essentially three people training at the same time. Um, we did get three bars from them along with a ton of other equipment. Uh, but this thing is just amazing. With It's got pull-up bars that have uh, sliding rotating handles, um, the ball grip attachments, long pull-up bar down the front, um, same on the other side, and a monkey bar all the way down the rack. So really an uh, awesome piece of gear um, that we picked up at a really good price from a closeout gym. Uh, we have bumper plates that we went with uh, just for kind of safety impact over, over iron plates. Uh, one standard 45 incline adjustable bench, uh, multiple Olympic bars. We have a couple TRX systems, we only have one out right now. Uh, again, this is all stuff we got from that same gym. I uh, really like the step ups for, uh, for the pull-up bars. And over here on this side, we actually got the Pro Maxima uh, step up attachments, uh, dip bar attachments, and instead of having so many pull-up options, I end up hanging a heavy bag here off of this one, and it, and it works really well for, for what we use. So uh, on the back side for weights, we went with um, the Power Block 50 dumbbells, just primarily mainly for, uh, it's just how compact it is in, in the space, but it does work really well. Um, it goes up to 50 pounds, which is really all me and the wife need for, uh, for what we do in terms of training, uh, and it's great. These shelves are actually bolted into the whole rack system uh, where we have our medicine balls, kettlebells, uh, storage and stuff for all our attachments uh, across the bottom. Uh, it looks really clean. Uh, and this thing is all bolted to the ground. Um, so it's not going anywhere. It is permanent right through the rubber flooring. Um, so it's, it's, it's a sturdy, sturdy piece of gear. This is a good find that we found um, on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it kind of went with the whole flow of the gym. But this is just a plate loaded cable machine, um, adjustable up and down, multiple attachments. It has two cables, uh, individual cables. So uh, something that it, we use a lot in training um, from, you know, lap pull down, tricep pull downs, doesn't matter anything you want to do with it. Uh, we've got our exercise ball storage and stuff up top. So that's uh, the main focus of the training that we have. Some of the aesthetic things we did or functional things that we had to do for this pro maximum rig to even fit, you can probably see that your standard kind of hanging light and garage door track is gone. Um, and that is because we had to remove it because most garage doors are only at seven feet, maybe seven and a half feet when they're open. Uh, and this is an eight and a half foot rig. So we had to push this all the way to the, the top of the ceiling pretty much. So we moved the garage door up almost two feet. Um, and it required a professional to do it. It wasn't something that, you know, you could just add some track and, you know, extend your garage door up. Uh, but we had to get uh, what's called a high lift garage door. Um, it's on, a, I think, a spring and tension kind of mount with cables. Uh, with a very um, hot, high power motor that sits up in the corner now. So it works really great. Uh, and it also allowed me to remove that big, you know, track to garage door so we can put in some extra LED lighting, uh, really light up the whole gym. Uh, and it just feels more open uh, and good. So to even get a rack in here like that, if it's something you want to do, you got to think about doing a high lift garage door uh, to really maximize your space. And it just, it feels a lot better with the, even the door open because it's still really tall. Uh, so in addition to the high lift garage door, we also insulated it. Um, and this is just a polystyrene foam. Uh, again, this is one of those cost saving tips. There's garage kits out there. I bought two sheets myself for like 30 bucks, cut it down and uh, put it in here myself. In Las Vegas, uh, heat can get up to the 110 and above um, and the winters get pretty cold as well. So the most that we can do to keep heat out or keep heat in uh, is the goal there. So definitely something to um, think about if you're going to make a garage gym. This is where we come out and 
we train really hard. Uh, this is what we consider our perfect home gym. Uh, your perfect home gym is just the one that you train in. Uh, and that's really the whole purpose of having a fitness facility at your fingertips is so that you come out here and you actually use it. Uh, I hope that there is some inspiration or value that you got to seeing how we set ours up. Uh, please comment, like uh, below so that you can tell me things that you want to see from your home gym uh, or ideas or whatever that you came across. I, I'm always interested in stuff like that. And if you want to follow on my journey to uh, my half Ironman coming up in April in Florida, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more training videos and kind of taking uh, everyone along in that journey with me. So like, subscribe, comment. Uh, uh, we'll see you in the next video.